What is going on guys? It is Pete back with you with another gun review. This I borrowed from John because I already have the M17. This is the M18. We just did a shooting review of this so it's going to be a little bit dirty so it's not a true unboxing. It's a kind of ish unboxing. Okay. It's a P320 M18 by SIG. Uh, we'll be checking this out. We did a shooting review um, so we will be uploading that here soon and make sure you hit that ding dong so you know when we drop it you guys can see it. All right. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. This should be a quick review because we have a range review here. It is a bit dirty. Now, this is fully loaded. Let's pop this out. Hollow points. It is empty. As you can tell, she is dirty. We have to clean her, but the goal is not to clean her and see how many rounds it will take for her to jam. Isn't she a beauty? Oh, she feels so good in your hands. This is a great gun. Absolutely great gun. So, uh, right off the bat, the controls. Let's go ahead with the controls. So, it does have ambi safety selector. Really audible. Super tight, but nothing crazy on both sides. Fully ambi. Uh, ambi slide locking lever on both sides. Or slide release. Right there. Um, full length dust cover. So it does cover up uh, all the way to the end of the slide. Uh, now the slide is beveled a little bit. And it comes with a DLC finish, which is wear resistant. Supposedly it's actually wearing pretty quick on some of the guns I've seen online and people are complaining about it. It doesn't come with a um, ambi mag release. So you lefties can switch that over. It does come with a full pick rail. It is a curved trigger, but it is an enhanced trigger by SIG, so it's a little bit better than your stock 320. Push your trigger, take a look at the reset. There you go. So it has a little bit of take up. There's your block, a little bit of over travel. There's your break. Look at the reset again. There we go. That's a reset. Uh, it does come with night sights already pre-installed. So SIG light front and then night sights rear plate. So the rear plate, is uh, it is optics ready. So you have to take the, the firearm apart. Um, and then unscrew it. You actually have to take uh, the fire, not the fire control unit, but you have to take the striker out, the safety out on the plunger. And then it will give you access to one side of the screws. The other side of the screw, which is the left side, is already accessible. So all you have to do is just grab your tool, unscrew it put on the optic and you're good to go. So this is cut for uh, the DPP or Delta Point Pro and SIG uh, Romeo 1, SIG Romeo 1 and SIG Romeo 1 Pro, I believe, yep. So uh, it does come with a medium hand grip. These are interchangeable, so you could take out the FCU and change out the lower as needed. So if it fits your hand a little bit better, you get the smaller or larger grip. They are usually about like 50 or 60 dollars to change those out uh you could change out the fire control unit you can get a better trigger i know apex makes a really nice trigger for this uh so go ahead and check them out we might i don't know how john feels but he might throw one of those on here who knows if he does we'll let you guys know all right so i don't know where john put the other one but it does usually come with three mags it's a 17 round flush mag and these are i believe what are these 20 round extended magazines so you get two extended magazines and one flush and then you people in california only get the 10 rounders sucks huh all right overall length so front to back it is 7.2 inches uh overall width now she's a little chunky uh, but it is 1.6 inches uh height so the rear or the bottom of the grip to the top of the slide it is 5.5 inches barrel length is 3.9 so it's not the full barrel length it is the 3.9 inch the m17 has the full slide length and full barrel length all right weight is 28.1 ounces so not too hefty okay um she has a little bit girth to it obviously you can tell by the slide but she's not too hefty uh you can carry this all day long without any issues uh, sight radius is 5.8 inches, which is not too bad, uh, and it will be perfect for combat ranges, right? That's what she was meant for, guys. She, that's what she was meant for, combat. 
accessory rail, so, uh, so 1913 rail, uh, obviously you guys know it is striker fired. Trigger is just a standard curve, not flat face. The grip color is kind of tan. Bare material is carbon steel. Frame finish is stainless steel. Frame material is stainless steel. Uh, slide finish is the Coyote PVD, like I was saying. Uh, so I like kind of like the two-tone. PVD is this new type of finish. Uh, supposedly it is very wear resistant. Uh, I've seen videos of people complaining about how it's wearing off really quick. Uh, they're getting really quick holster wear on it. So we'll see as this continues. We'll give you guys an update video. Uh, maybe we'll do like a 500 round mark and a 1000 round mark. Stay tuned. Slide material, stainless. Uh, optics ready? Yes, it is. Like I said, guys, all you gotta do is take off that top plate. Obviously, by done doing the screws, you put the, put the optic on, screw it in, you're ready to go. Bada bing, bada boom. So let's go ahead and read the details right off the website. So uh, the M18 was recently issued to all branches of the U.S. military. It was chosen the official sidearm of the U.S. Marine Corps. The P320 M18 is a commercial version that brings the same unprecedented accuracy, extreme reliability, unmatched durability the military demand. The P320 M18 comes with a standard, uh, comes standard with sig light, night sights, and a removable night sight rear plate. The slide is optic ready and directly compatible with the Romeo 1 Pro. The slide and grip module are the same coyote tan as a military version and includes one 17 round magazine and two 21 round magazines. The P320 M18 chosen by the U.S. Marine Corps and the U.S. military now available to you for the first time. So I know they did the trials, Glock, which will probably never win because they haven't done anything cool or really kind of caught up with the times. Uh, there was Breda like the APX series, they're kind of ugly. I mean, they are nice. I heard good things about them. I heard they're really accurate, but they're freaking ugly. Super freaking ugly. Ugh. This, I think there's another one. I can't remember off the top of my head. If you guys know, throw it in the comments down below so I could be educated. I know the Marine Corps love this. Uh, they up the Army, picked up the M17. They both having no issues. I know people are going to comment, but, but, but the drop issue went and, you know, the, the SIG going off right away. They, they have fixed that after the supposed fix and there was another negligent discharge uh, or accidental, I shouldn't say negligence, uh, accidental discharge. Throw it in the comments down below and I'll bite my tongue on it. So far, so good. Uh, when we shot it, she was very accurate, very, very accurate. It holds a very tight group. I can put my fist over um, at about 15 yards. We have shot this. We are going to do a, well, actually, we already did, I'm sorry. We already did a range review. When that video comes up, which is soon, put the link up top about this video with the new range review. So go ahead and hit like, subscribe, hit that ding dong so you get to see those guns and those reviews because there's going to be multiple guns that we're shooting. So go ahead and hit that ding dong so you guys know when exactly we that video drops. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like those videos. If you have any other suggestions, please just hit the comment section down below, type it up, and tell me how big of a, a crappy YouTuber I am, or praise me for once, right? All right, uh, and if you guys are generous, please, please donate into our Patreon. We really appreciate it. We are poor as crap. We do this on our own dime, so please try supporting us. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to try doing a giveaway. Stay tuned to that. Like I said, Hit that ding dong so you get to know when that giveaway is and what's entailed into it. All right. We appreciate it, guys. We love you. Thank you so much for supporting us for the last two years. Like I said, we're a very small channel. Um, we love you guys and freedom on.